Hi, I'm Daniel Fisher here at Sweetwater Sound, and today I am knocked out to show you the new subsequent 25 analog synthesizer by Moog. Wow, this thing is a beast. The subsequent 25 synthesizer by Moog is an all analog, two oscillator synthesizer with the famous Moog filter that can go one pull, two pull, three pull, four pull. It's got two envelopes. It's got attack, decay, sustain, release, as well as hold and delay on both of those. You can now put this thing in duo mode, so it has duophony, which means you can play two notes at a time. Um, it has a new editor that allows you to get to the new features. Looks-wise, it's got the standard black Moog panel. The sub -fatty had the silver panel, and the sub -fatty had the rubber sides. This now has the tribute type of wooden sides on the ends. They've also redone the side panel in silver, so you can now read all the text on the side, which is very handy. The keyboard is a much better feeling keyboard, just all around an amazing synthesizer in such a small package. Now, when I was gonna demonstrate this, I was gonna pull out a long keyboard to show you, hey, you can get around, and I was gonna bring out an arpeggiator to show all that. I'm telling you, this thing is so exciting all by itself, I decided to just go with it as is. The only thing I did bring out is I brought a delay, which I'm not gonna use very often, I will tell you in advance, but mostly I am going to just play this thing as it is. So what else has been updated? The mixer section has been given double the headroom. Why? One, um, because they've also beefed up the drive circuits. So you need that headroom for this thing to get really deep and crunchy without getting mushy. And they beefed up the headphone output significantly. That's important if you're using headphones or a uh, personal mixer to hear your synth sounds before you play them to the audience because you do have a separate headphone mix level as well as the master out level. So just all around an amazing synth. It has 16 patches, it's four banks of four, but via the subsequent 25 editor, which is also a librarian, you can get to hundreds and hundreds of patches there. Um, already amazing stuff. And I'm not gonna go into great detail about all the parameters because the rest of them are identical to the sub fatty uh, and I go into that in great detail in the sub fatty video. Uh, we will put a link to that in the description as well. So what does that mean, duophony? If you haven't played with uh, paraphony yet, which is not polyphony, it's sort of like fake polyphony. <laughs> and what do I mean by that? I mean that you can have each oscillator going to a different pitch, but each of those oscillators are not going through their own unique filter and their own unique amplifier. So their volume and timbre are going to move together, but you can move their pitches independently. Okay, so now I'm going to go into an initialized mode where I have just a sawtooth oscillator on oscillator one, I have oscillator two off. Um, the filter's wide open, the envelopes are wide open. There's no modulation. The only thing I got going is a little bit of glide when I do legato. Okay, but in duo mode, if I add oscillator two, when I play a second note, the lower note will be playing oscillator one, the higher note will be played by oscillator two. And so now I can do a bass line and some arpeggiations over it. It's just really great to have two notes because it really helps you define uh, the harmony and chord structure of a song better than you can with mono. And that's why they gave you the bigger headroom so that it can handle two notes being uh, on different pitches, which definitely causes a lot more harmonics, a lot more interference between the two of them. Super, super powerful. And like the other subsequent keyboards, it just has the Moog stuff, you know? And what do I mean by that? The Moog low pass filter. Uh, I'll play you a little bit of that. I'm just gonna have a, again, in it with just two oscillators. Uh, in fact, I'm even gonna turn oscillator two off. So you're only gonna hear one oscillator. I'll go down a couple octaves and I'm just gonna sweep this filter and there's just nothing like sweeping a Moog filter.
but now push the headroom on the mixer, push the multi-drive some, do the same thing. Push it even harder. And like I always like to do, put a little ping pong echo on that and sweep again. Okay, now to make some music.
Any further questions about the Moog Subsequent 25 or the Moog Subsequent 37 or any of the line of Moogs, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. My name is Daniel Fisher. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>